Eagle is a giant primitive man who was unfrozen from the Selen rock formation and somehow was brought back to life. He was shown to be born in the Cretaceous era as he was fighting a T-Rex and survived the meteorite that sent them to extinction, which makes him around 145 to 66 million years old. But what is more interesting, there were no human beings at that time, only dinosaurs and other animal shit. So how this dude was born? Pickle does not resemble any form of primitive man or even modern humans. And although he predates humanity by millions of years, his uh, proportions, size, bone structure and posture are similar to that of uh, Sahelanthropus. Sahelanthropus is one of the oldest known species in the human family tree. But this species lived sometime between 7 and 6 million years ago. But Pickle was frozen a long time before that. So this has led some to believe that he is a missing limb in the evolutionary chain. He is a pretty mysterious being who appeared out of nowhere and the only explanation for his appearance is magic. But I have some theories of Pickle's appearance and his birth that looks pretty realistic in Bucky World terms. I think one of these theories could be put in the plot and everyone would be happy with that kind of explanation. Show me what you got. Show me what you got. I want to see what you got. It could be that Pickle evolved from some kind of a predatory dinosaur and become more human looking. At that time only dinosaurs lived on the planet and who knows, maybe one of those dinos was tired of being a stupid big creature and decided to evolve into something better looking. And stage after stage, kids of that dinosaur were becoming smaller and smaller transforming into something like that. He stands over 8 feet tall and possesses insanely huge muscles. Pickle has dark shoulder length hair and a youthful face, giving him an almost innocent appearance at times. This is offset by his exaggerated upper and lower canis, giving him a fanged appearance, and his nails which resemble claws. Pickle has extra thick neck vertebra, which he evolved from walking in a quadruped stance. He also seems to be able to dislocate his jaw, allowing him to open his mouth to an enormous size. Pickle's forearms, lower legs and neck are all overdeveloped to the point where he is nearly unable to wear modern clothing. So as we can see, even if he looks like a human mostly, but he is nothing like a human in his body structure, more like a dinosaur. So the theory about Pickle evolving from a dinosaur does not look so stupid. For me, because I invented it. Also, it could be that it was some sort of human beings like Pickle at that time and he was born by them. So that means that in Bucky world 150 million years ago lived people strong enough to hunt and eat predators like a freaking T-Rex even. It makes Bucky world even more fantasy than it is right now with the huge Rohanma dude who is a god inside a human body or unkillable characters who do not die until the plot needs it. So that means that there were a lot of people like Pickle at that time, but only Pickle was lucky enough to survive. Or no. In that case, it could be more someone like him frozen somewhere underground waiting their turn to be resurrected to kill the main character. And also Pickle could be the weakest one among the people or somewhere in the middle. Like it was with Omni-Man who was strongest on Earth, but it turned out that on his planet there were dudes who suppressed him by a lot. Uh. 
Although I have a theory that old potato Kaku Kayo is living for more than 200 million years already and he with his girlfriend T-Rex gave birth to Pickle. And Kaku Shinsei is his brother from another mother as he looked familiar as hell. That's why he looked like a shriveled potato but is still insanely strong, he is immortal, that's why. But looks like Marionade's education took over his mother dinosaurs, that's why he is so stupid. While he is capable of learning, Pickle is still mostly primitive. Due to living most of his life in a wild era filled with nothing but creatures who used only their brute force and monstrous size to win battles, he also just rushed at everyone with his insane strength. However, his sheer strength and durability makes him almost undefeatable. But knowing Bucky World rules, there is no need to understand from where and why this dude shows up, just sit and watch how he destroys everyone and then gets defeated by one of the main characters. Pickle was born and appeared because he needed to be born and appear to make the plot more interesting. Just like it was with prisoners who appeared actually out of nowhere, travel to Tokyo for some reason and the only motivation they have is that they want to be defeated. Sounds stupid, but in Bucky world that kind of motivation is just fine to find a way to include some new opponents for the main characters. For real, everything we know about them is that they are dangerous criminals and they want to fight. For what they were put into prison, what they done, but no, you have what you have, deal with it. It is what it is. It is, it is what it is. <laughs> But never forget about Kakukayo's theory, I think it's legit. Anyways, thank you for watching, I hope this video was interesting to you. What do you think, how Pickle was actually born at the time where humans did not exist? Is he a missing link in the evolutionary chain? Or it was old prankster Kakukayo who fucked a dino? Leave your comments down below. Also, don't forget to leave a like if this video was interesting to you and of course subscribe to the channel for more. Again, thank you all for watching, don't forget to comment on this video, it helps me a lot. Ok, ok, won't disturb you with my ugly voice any longer. Goodbye.